Welcome back to Julian's Magician School on a momentous day because today is the day that I tip to you the biggest magic secret of all. Now this secret is so big that not even the mask magician would go near it. So are you ready? Here it is. Little people. That's right. Tiny, little, invisible people, that is the secret to all of magic. And this is the thing that magicians do not want you to know. Now, uh, they come in all different grades. Uh, this large jar here, this is full of the regular size, and it's actually the most economical way to buy them. That large jar would last all David Copperfield with his big shows and illusions probably whole year. And then the next grade is Teeny Weeny. Uh, this is a general purpose sort of a grade, uh, but the one I prefer is Incy Wincy. Now, that's really good for the finest of your close-up tricks. I'll give you a little demonstration how it works. I've taken the matchbox, and on this matchbox, uh, on the drawer on the inside, I've put a piece of invisible string. And it goes from the drawer, over the top, down the front, and hangs to the bottom. I've taken a second piece of invisible string and I've tied it to the bottom of the drawer and that drapes down. Now, this is what you want to do if you want to create a little magical illusion. I'm going to take some of the Incy Wincy grade, put some of them down there, be careful you don't squash them. Now, they're going to grab on to the string that goes from the drawer at the top over the front. And you've got to lower it down a bit, make sure it's not too high, <laughs> they can't jump that high. And when they start to load on the drawer, the more that get on there, the higher the drawer goes. Yeah. Now I'll take a couple of these out, I might be needing some of those later. Now, if you move it forward, so now the string from the middle of the bottom of the drawer goes down, and you let them jump on that, they all load onto it, and the heavier it gets, yeah, it'll just go down. This is the bit that I really love. How many little people can you stick on the head of a matchstick? Yeah, well, the answer is about 973, 974, but on a good day, you can almost fit a thousand. And here's what you can do. This is really funny. I wish you could see it up close. They're all lying on their backs with their little feet in the air like that. And if we count to three, on three, they're all going to push their feet together. Watch this. Come on, guys. Here we go. Everyone count to three. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to try that again. One, two, three. Oh! There they go. They all push together. So, that is the secret to all of magic. Just don't tell anyone that I told you. The whole point of this video is to try to get you not to devalue tricks because they come with the label simple or easy. If you take the simplest and easiest of tricks and put a fun presentation to it, you end up with a good trick. Now, to help you along with this, uh, if you go to my website here, then you can download uh, this cover sheet for the best magic secret of all. And this is always a good way to start. Uh, any trick you do, because if you tell people you're going to tell them a secret, people are really interested. People want to know about secrets. So it's a good little hook to get people in. And then you can also print out uh, these two sheets with all the different labels. They're exactly the same as those ones there. Uh, and I've made them in a whole heap of sizes. So you don't email me back going, Julian, they don't fit on my jar. Um, I'm sure you'll find something out of there. So uh, you can use any jars you want, any shape, uh, and I mean, I just call them three grades. There's regular, there's teeny weeny, and incy wincy. Make up whatever you want. Here's the really easy work on the matchbox. All you need to do is cut a rectangle out of the back, and then out of the back of the, or the bottom of the box, the sleeve, you need to cut a little notch. They go back together, and when you hold it, your thumb, or your finger, will slide that up and down. Just one little tip, because you have cut um, this large rectangle out of the back, if you hold the bottom of the box where you would sort of normally hold it, there, if you squeeze with your fingers, the uh, because that's weakened, the tray will not slide up and down. So you've got to hold it a little bit higher, 
um, up about here and don't squeeze hard. And if you don't know, here's how you make a matchstick jump. You put your finger, uh, index finger out, place a match at right angles across it and hold it with your thumb. Then with your middle finger nail, you're going to use that nail to hook it just on the edge to catch the edge of the matchstick, the end of the matchstick, and you're going to push and slide the nail off. And when you do that, what you're doing is you're storing up this energy. And when your nail slips off, that's got a whole heap of energy to release. So when you put another matchstick on top and balance it, I'm going to slide my nail now, bang, it jumps up like that. So as always, if I can do it, you can do it.